And so it's down to you two. We, we can only say what to do, and then, and then they have to do it. But so if you, you, you frequently didn't know whose side was who, and who was in charge of what. We ourselves need to probably split up and organise two areas of, or an area of the battle each. How would you have done it differently, Tristan and Becky? If you'd been in charge, would you have won? I think the chances are we would have won, yeah. If I was, yeah. If I was Based in charge, on what? If, if, straight away, if I was in charge, I would have... Uh, I would have just stuck with one of the lieutenants. What if I didn't uh, do what you said, though, like you were with us? That wouldn't happen under my leadership. You right. should have had like it split into left and right from the beginning. So you had yeah. a general in there, lieutenant oh, controlling that was the left. That was a mistake. A general, left, lieutenant controlling the right, and then communicating between all four of us what's going on. I think that was a mistake on all of our parts. So yeah. wasn't it really? Oh, collective responsibility suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these two are trying to shit all on uh, Ruth and I, but um, I think you wanted to be general. Well, you know, we did. That's your assessment of the battle. Let's get oh, the no. expert assessment. They've been watching everything you've done. Here come Eric and Mike. <laughs> All right. Who said come off the hill? How do you think they did? I mean, starting off outnumbering the enemy and then having every advantage and ending up massacred. I, it was it was kind of sad, really. <laughs> yeah, but they did. But they had they had. Both. I mean, they could have won at one stage. Why? Because Caesar didn't behave as he did on the day, and they really had an opportunity to get round Caesar's left flank mm -hmm. and get because he didn't hug the river like he did on the day and, and, and guard that flank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that was and because you managed to get Caesar to fight away from the river, and because you had this mass of cavalry that you could have enveloped one side or the other, or both, uh, there was an opportunity there. So you, you, you did have an opportunity. It, it, it did slip through your fingers. What Caesar does in this battle is take the initiative and force the enemy, force Pompey, force you guys to react to him. Yeah. And Caesar played you guys like a fish. He was like a fisherman hauling in, pulling on the rod, and you guys would kind of go after the bait. Yeah? Why'd you guys fight? Serious question, why'd you come down off the hill? Well, yeah, that's what the train for the front to the fight, didn't they? I think it was panicky, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was panicky, yeah. Something else we saw, and I thought was very interesting. Ollie says at the beginning that, that women's spatial orientation, tactical nows, aren't going to do that well. <laughs> you want to achieve a, a three to one local superiority uh, to, to magnify the effect of your greater numbers. I loved hearing that. You talk the talk, yeah. but do you walk the walk? You don't. Well, you know, I'm, I'm talking the talk, and, and these guys are walking the walk. So, uh, it's, a know. Poor, well, it's a poor craftsman. And that's another point. Neither of the generals empowered their lieutenants. They were not permitted to get on and fight their own corners of the battlefield. Mm. Instead, they were being micromanaged not not by by Ruth, but by, by Ollie, because Ruth spent a lot of the time isolated behind the map board. Yeah. It just was a delegation and chain of command yeah. thing that went wrong, which you kind of identified yourself yeah. as anyway, yeah. hadn't you? One of the other big problems was that you allowed the battle to disintegrate into yeah. a lot of small combats. Yeah. And in almost every case, Caesar was able to achieve a local superiority against you. Your superiority of numbers would have worked if there would have been more... Yeah. Would you like to see how it really happened? Yeah. yeah. Now Caesar has got eight legions, eight hard legions. Caesar is a thin, brittle, but hard army. What Pompey did was he actually did come off the hill, formed very deep. Not long and thin, but compact and deep. And this huge 7,000, 6,500, 7,000 cavalry on their left wing. Caesar saw that concentration. He watched all of those horses move into that one end of the battlefield. He knew because the river was over there that that's where Pompey was going to come from. So Caesar strips out part of each legion, strip one cohort out of each legion, and sticks them behind his right flank here. But he doesn't want Pompey to see him, so he hides them behind horses. I'll come up. They're coming up a little bit, and we stop. They're just aging together. Caesar sees that Pompey's forces are not moving anymore. Caesar's leaders figure out that Pompey has ordered his people to stand fast. And so Caesar orders a charge, and you saw this during the game. He orders a charge, and they stop. They catch their breath, they reform, and then 
Caesar sends his legions in a very focused strike against Pompey's legions. Which Pompey's legions can take, because they're deep. He's got more men, and he's got them in debt, so he can absorb it, he can take it, but it's a bitter fight going on now. And then while that fight's going on, Pompey's cavalry comes driving in, not realizing that they're coming in, coming in against an infantry force hiding behind Caesar's cavalry. Caesar's cavalry is pushed out of the way. Pompey's cavalry is forced to fight against infantry. Once those guys are no longer part of the battle, Caesar can decide the combat in this meat grinder by taking his last tactical reserve and throwing them in against Pompey. In the real battle of Pharsalus, Pompey survived and fled to Egypt where he was murdered. Caesar's military successes and political shrewdness signaled the end of the Roman Republic. When he finally had himself appointed dictator for life, Caesar had become the single most powerful man in the Western world. I think on the plus side you've learned a little about a battle from history and a little bit about how battles work generally. On the downside, you were responsible for the massacre of 56,000 people. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Thank you.